Hi, Terry here from Stamping Magic. Welcome back to my channel. Today's project is a window scene card. I've used the Bloom and Grow stamp set for the flowers in the window box, but I used the Vibrant Vases stamp set for the vase in the window. I've added some window sheet or acetate behind the windows to give it a more realistic look, but this is really optional. You could leave it off if you want to. So let's get started. These are all the measurements you need for all the elements required to create this project. So if you are interested in reproducing it, you can take a screenshot and refer to it later. I've already prepared one of my windows, so I'm now going to show you how to do the second one. I'm using thick Whisper White cardstock for this, just to give them a bit more stability. I use the smallest plain square from the Layering Squares die set to create my window panes. When you cut out your thick white card, you want to be as precise as possible. That way, when you die cut it, you won't have a wonky frame. I'm going to start by placing the die in the top left position and I'm aligning the two outside edges of the die with the edges of the cardstock. So that's the top edge and the left edge. I'll secure this with washi tape and run it through my die cutting machine. Now I'll do exactly the same with the top right. So I'm just aligning those outside edges with the top of my cardstock and the right hand side. Just ignore the centre um, post. Don't, don't worry about that, that'll take care of itself. Again, add washi tape and run it through. The middle row is exactly the same. So I'm placing the die on the left hand side and I'm aligning the top edge with the bottom of that first uh, window pane and I'm also aligning the left hand edge and then continue in this way until your windows complete. I'm now going to position the windows onto the window sheet or acetate. I'm adding tiny dots of adhesive all over the reverse of each of the windows and then I'll position it onto the acetate. The acetate should be the exact size you need for the two windows. But if you do have a little bit extan extending past the window frames, just trim it off. I've created some very narrow foam strips and I'm going to add these to the back of my window. I want to raise it up to give it some dimension. Now I created these by just cutting the edges off my sheets of normal hexagonal dimensionals. Stamping Up do sell foam strips but they're a little too deep and much too wide to fit around this frame which is why I've created my own. Now you want to put them all around the edges and then also down the middle where the two frames join. My background panel is again in thick Whisper White card and I've used the brick and mortar embossing folder on this. My window box is in crumb cake and I've used the Pinewood Planks embossing folder. The grass strip is in Granny Apple Green and I've used one of the special day dies to create this. This next panel is in thick Whisper White and this will be what my window is positioned onto. So it will create the window frame and also the interior of the house. I'm going to blend some So Saffron ink onto the centre of this panel. Now you want to keep it away from the edges, otherwise it will show on your window frame and you don't want it there. So I'm just going to pick up a little ink and then apply it to the centre of this panel. 
Next, I'm going to apply a little Granny Apple Green ink to the top edge of my grass strip. And then I can apply a little soft suede ink to my crumb cake window box. I'm also going to slant cut each end of this strip to make it look more like a window box shape. Finally, for ink blending, I'm going to add some smoky slate ink um, to my brick wall. Now, the window will cover most of this up, so you only really need to apply it around the edges. I'm going to add some daisies to my little grass strip and I'm using a white jelly roll pen for this and all I'm doing is dotting the pen along the strip. This is the Bloom and Grow stamp set and today I'm just using one of the larger images and the little sprig of flowers. And this is the Vibrant Vases stamp set and I'm just using three of the images to create my vase of flowers. I'm going to use Memento Tuxedo Black ink to stamp all my flowers. Now I need two of the large sprays. and then I need three of the little sprigs of flowers. I'm stamping all of these on normal weight Whisper White card. I'll need two lots of the flowers for the vases. And then I need two vases. Now the pattern piece I'm stamping in soft suede and the background stamp I'm stamping in crumb cake but I'm stamping off first. And then I can punch these out using the Vases Builder punch.
The flowers for the vases were cut out by hand and I've left a little tab of cardstock so I can glue them into position. All the other elements were die cut using the Budding Blooms die set. I'm using my white jelly roll pen again to add some little dots of white onto each of the flowers on the sprigs. The two main flower sections are actually a little wide for my window box so I'm cutting off some of the elements and I'll rearrange these when I put the card together. I'm going to create a template to help me cut the curtains. Now I have a piece of copy paper here that's the same size as my designer series paper and I'm using the window frame just to add a dot into the centre of that piece of paper and then I can just draw the shape in as I want it. Then all I need to do is cut it out and then I can use this to cut out my curtains. I'm going to trace the shape of the template onto the reverse of each of the curtains and then cut them out. Make sure when you do this that you get the curtains facing in the right direction. I have two lengths of white baker's twine here and I'm going to use these as tie backs for my curtains. So I'm just tying each one around the centre of the curtains. Then I'm just using half a mini glue dot to fix the ends of the tie backs into position. I can then remove the backing from the foam strips on the back of my window and position the curtains into place. Now they'll go edge to edge on the top, the side and the bottom so they're quite easy to position. To position the vase on the windowsill, I'm adding two tiny pieces of foam strip onto each of the bars between the window panes on one side of the window. And then I can position the window over the vase and it will be held in place by those little strips. Then I'm going to add wet glue to the backs of the curtains and the vase. I've already exposed the glue on the sticky strips and then I can position this onto my white panel that I added the So Saffron ink to. And you want to make sure that you leave an even border all the way round the window. My card base is half a 12 inch sheet of crumb cake cardstock scored in the middle and folded to create a 6 inch card. If you haven't got any 12x12 12 12 crumb cake cardstock, you can still make a 6 inch card base. You want to cut two pieces of card, one 6 inches by 6 inches, the other 6.5 inches by 6 inches and score this at 6 inches. This will give you a half inch tab where you can join the two pieces together. Now I've also got my front emboss panel, my grass strip, my window and then my window box and I've added dimensionals to the reverse of this. Then for inside the card I've got a whisper white panel.
and that's it, my card's finished. Really not that complicated. And here's another look at the card I showed you in the beginning. So much the same, just slightly different colours. And then this was my original test card for this project. Now I used different flowers from the same stamp set for this one, but I found that they were much too big. Um, and I also had the window flat on the card. I didn't add acetate and it still works quite well. And then one final card, and this is just your normal standard card size. And this time I've just used one window and all the flowers come from the beautiful bouquet stamp set. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this project. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notifications bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Bye for now.